Hello loves, this is Haley from Lovely's Hair and I'm so excited to talk to y'all today. Make sure you are subscribed to follow, like, comment, and share. Hey y'all, this is Haley of Lovely's Hair and I have an announcement to make. And I feel like this has been going on as far as getting ready for this announcement. It's been a while, um, but I wanted to make sure that I came from the right place when I did. I was certain about it when I did. And I didn't want anyone to feel like hurt or, um, you know, disappointed or upset. You know, I'm bound to disappoint somebody. But I want to do my best to make sure when I said it, it was um, clear. Okay. So, here it is, y'all. Now, at the end, I'm going to explain everything um, so it makes sense. I just want to make sure I get out here so I can stop getting the wrong kind of attention um, and the wrong type of people coming towards me and my business, okay? So, here it comes. I don't do hair anymore. Um, I'm not a hairstylist. You know, that's just not who I am. Um, there was a time where I did do hair. There was a time where I was just a hairstylist, but things have changed. Um, and I am in a space where I am okay with change. I'm okay with certain people leaving. I'm okay with certain people choosing not to be a part of my business anymore. Um, I'm okay with not being for everybody. I've been okay with that, but I'm really okay with that now. And it's just been an evolution. And when it comes down to it, I don't like when people are coming to me with just these styles and they just want their hair to look a certain way. And, you know, I'm expected to do it by any means necessary. Like this, that's just, that's just not what serves me anymore. Um, and you know, doing hair is so limiting and I feel like I got so much more to give, so much more to show and so much more to be, um, than just a hairstylist. And to be honest, like, I don't even want to be associated with hairstylists like too heavily because I feel like hairstylists, <laughs> I know it sounds real bad, but hairstylists, um, have gotten a bad rap. Um, and if I can be absolutely vulnerable and absolutely transparent um hairstylists and just doing hair has gotten a bad rap especially in the black community because you know it's so many things that are correlated with hairstylists these days as far as running behind um you know canceling and rescheduling all the time and you know not really being attentive and um you know juggling people and being a money grab and um, just not really caring about your hair and doing damaging things to you and not like giving you what you need. Like I don't want any parts, any affiliation to none of that at all. And to be honest, like I don't feel like I fall in line with that anymore. Like anyone who knows or who have come to my salon know it's a totally different type of experience. It is not your average hair salon experience. No, I'm not perfect. It does not exist. Perfection does not exist. But what I am is very intentional in curating a space that is different from what, you know, most hair salons and hairstylists and hair people may do because of me putting my whole self into this business and the work that I do. Um, I'm an empath. I'm naturally very um, much aware of people how they feel, where they are. I'm not a good liar. I'm not good at lying to people. All I know how to do is speak my truth. And when I can't speak my truth, I'm very quiet. Um, so that's what kind of makes me an introvert because I don't feel like in all spaces you can speak your truth and it be received. But I will say um, in this space, in this salon, in my business, it is safe. <laughs> so all I can do is be honest, authentic, and speak my truth to my clients about where I am, what I provide, and what I can do for them. Um, so yeah, I don't want to be affiliated with the average hairstylist. Um, nothing against the average hairstylist or the majority of hairstylists. It's just not where I am right now. Um, yeah. Um, so with that in mind, what I am going forward from this day until I decide otherwise is I am a hair encourager. That is who I am. So what that means, you're like, what is a hair encourager? I never heard this before. Like, what are you talking about, girl? Like, get over yourself. No, sincerely. Um, I'm going to tell you what it is. And I feel like most of the clients that have been to the salon, they know where I'm at right now. 
and I don't just do hair. So if you are someone who are um, hitting me up, if you're hitting me up because you want to get your hair done this week um, for a special event and I've never met you before, this probably isn't going to work. Um, if you're someone who's reaching out to me and you're like, oh my gosh, like, I like that style. Can I have that style? Um, and we've never really, you know, talked about you and your hair before. It's not going to work. So where I'm in right now, I'm considering the whole individual and the whole situation when I address and work with a client. So what that means is we're talking about what you've been doing with your hair prior to meeting me. We're talking about what has led you to come to me as a stylist or as a service provider? Um, and what exactly are you looking for long term? Not just for this one occasion, not just for this one weekend, not just for this one event, but what are you looking for long term with your hair? And what are you willing to invest as far as time, energy into your hair? Because basically, I'm looking to help people build loving relationships with their hair. I'm not looking to just style your hair. Like, if you're looking for someone to just style your hair, I'm not that girl. If you're looking for someone to just do your hair from time to time, I am not that girl. I am that girl or that woman who's basically going to give you the tools, the resources, the education, and the steps to take to take you to where you want to be when it comes to loving and appreciating your God-given hair. Like, that's who I am. Um, so that means... I provide education, I provide products, I provide a regimen, I provide steps to take as far as what you do at home, what you do after you leave the salon, what you do quarterly moving forward to maintain um, hair health or just you know the maintenance of what you're trying to achieve style-wise. Um, that is who I am. It's not just a one-stop shop where you're just getting your hair done, you're getting out, no. It's not somewhere where you can just you know, come in and not get talked to about what's deeper when it comes to where you are right now with your hair. Um, I'm not a surface level stylist. And if you want that, Lovely's hair is not for you. Um, we're just not that, you know what I'm saying? And um, me as the owner, as the lead stylist and the educator, I'm not hiring anyone within the salon who is just trying to style hair without considering the whole health of the person when it comes to their hair. Um, I am not a doctor, but what I am is a, a very experienced hair professional, cosmetologist, a licensed educator, where I am focused on making sure that you're well informed and making good hair decisions moving forward from me. So even if you only see me once, it will be enough for you to make better decisions moving forward. So, the goal is to make sure that people understand that I am not to be kind to if you just want your hair done. Like, I, this is not the stylist for you, um, nor is it the salon for you, because we're going to be a lot more attentive to your needs, um, what we're using on you based off of what you're experiencing, and what we're recommending moving forward. And that sometimes may be a no to what you want done to your hair. Like, n more so than not right now, because maybe you're not in the position to upkeep that. Maybe you're not in a position to actually have that because the health of your hair isn't there yet. Um, I'm happier to tell someone no and be confident in telling someone no than telling someone yes. And then it hurts the integrity of their hair. And then it hurts um, my, my professionalism moving forward because there's a lack of trust. And in the past, when I was young and just starting out as a stylist, there have been times where I gave people a style just because they wanted it. And I knew that they weren't going to take care of their hair. I mean, I hoped that they would, but naturally in my spirit, I knew that we're, they weren't going to upkeep it. So that's why I don't do weaves no more. I don't do crochet. I don't do um, wigs for people because I'm not going to be held responsible for people choosing to ignore their hair because it's under a protective style. Like... Just because you chose to be in a protective style doesn't mean that you can ignore the fact that you got hair underneath there, okay? So, all that to say, I'm not going to make this a tangent nor a ramble. I just want to make sure you guys knew that Haley of Lovely's Hair does not do hair anymore. Haley from Lovely's Hair is not a hairstylist anymore. Haley is a hair encourager. Um, no matter how um, cheesy that might sound to you, but what I focus on is encouraging women to love and appreciate their natural hair and get the tools necessary to continue to thrive on their journey to loving their natural hair. And I live it and breathe it and 
to say I do hair and to say I'm a hairstylist would be very um, limiting to what I really do because I don't just style hair and I don't just do hair. I actually encourage women to make better choices with their hair, lovingly, respectfully, um, with a little level of consideration for where they came from and where they wanna go. So if this sounds like something you want, something that you are into, something that you might want to invest in, um, make sure that you follow me at Lovely's Hair and on YouTube because I'm going to be pushing out more content that's educational. Um, also, I'm going to be um, a lot more focused on my Natural Hair Academy. Um, if you don't know, there are a group of women that I have in a Natural Hair Academy. It's basically a a community of women who are looking to embrace their natural hair and get the support that they need. I do weekly lives supporting women on what they might be falling short in and why they might not be getting what they want as far as results with their natural hair. Um, yeah, and if you want to book at the salon a physical service, my schedule is very tight, but I'm not not accepting new clients. It's just like you get in where you fit in, where there might be an opening. Um, but if you are interested, um, there's a new client form you can fill out. I'll put it through the link below. It does not guarantee that you're serviced, but it does give us a feel of what you're looking for and give you an understanding of what we offer um, to our new clients and what could be a good service for you starting out. Um, if those three options or four options that we have for new clients don't work for you, feel, feel free to book a consultation and we're here to assist you that way as well. Again, I'm Haley, owner of Lovely's Hair, and I repeat, I do not do hair anymore. I'm not a hairstylist anymore. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I am a cosmetologist, a licensed educator of cosmetology, and I'm a hair encourager. Um, anything else would be false. Um, actually, there's a lot more. I'm a salon owner. I retail products. I'm an influencer for my company. Um, but all that to say, y'all get what I'm saying. But I love y'all. And if you watch this to the video, this video to the end, I appreciate you. Because you could be doing anything else in the world, but you are watching this. So thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you on the other side. Talk to you soon. <laughs>